globalization is to a large degree an economic phenomenon. As we explore the relationship between faith and globalization, it is important for us to attend to the relationship between faith and broadly construed economic activity. We're interested, for instance, in asking the questions about the condition for successful economic activity, cultural conditions, and here faith, religious traditions, play a significant role. In a sense, what we are interested in discussing is a version of the question that Max Weber, the great sociologist of the 19th century, has pursued. He has asked the question about the relationship between one particular religious tradition, Protestantism, and the spirit of capitalism. In what way Protest Protestantism made capitalism possible? Now, we can ask the similar kind of questions question in terms of what kind of conditions do religious traditions prepare for the possibility of economic activity. In order to look at this case, we want to examine a country that is economically booming, indeed the fastest developing country in the world, namely China. What is the relationship between various traditional religions as well as new religions like Christianity in China and its intensive economic development. This question is significant in that sense that it explores the cultural conditions for human flourishing through increased economic productivity.